Hey there, this is Akshit Madhan and welcome back to a new video. And in the last part, we had covered the web part, that is web version of the second container. As you can see in the code, we have covered the desktop version. And I told you that we will be covering the mobile part. So mobile part is so damn easy that I have already coded it and I'm going to explain it. And if you, if you want to try it on your own, you can try it. Let me show you how it looks in the mobile. So in the inspect and click on this icon. So you can see that this is our first container. It looks really good. And this is our second container. So basically I've removed those circular vectors in the mobile and there is our orange orange container. And in that our dashboard admin image is there and Facebook, Google, Coca-Cola and Samsung that are all the client logos are in the vertical direction. So they are in the column, not in the row as you saw in the uh, web part, right? As you can see over here, right? So this is the task you have to do it. But let me just explain you if you don't want to code it on your own. So what I've done is, first of all, uh, I've set the width to infinity and the decoration, I have set it to primary. That is my orange color, right? And after this, you can see there is a column which is covering everything, right? So in this column, I'm having two major uh, containers. That is this first container. So let me just uh, separate this. Uh, so let me just separate this. So this is my first container. And the below that is my second container, which is containing all the logos, as you can see, company logos. And this is my first container. So in this first container, I have given it some padding uh, from left, from right, from top and bottom it is zero. Why zero? Because you can see that uh, our image. So let me just show you. Uh, you can see that this image is touching the bottom part. That's why it's padding from bottom is zero, right? And from top left and uh, from the right, it is 20, right? So this is the purpose of adding the padding from the three sides. Then I'm having a container and I saw that it looks really good at height 195 and it covers all the major parts of the image. So height is 195 and width is in, again infinity because you can see that it needs to cover the complete width. And you can see that in the decoration, I've given an image decoration, sorry, decoration image and asset image is my dashboard image and box width dot contain. If you will make it box width dot cover, then some part of the image will get cut. Right, so you have to make it box fit dot contain so that every part like that means a complete image should be inside this container, right? And if I just uh, comment this uh, container colors dot white, you will see one thing. You will see that the whole container is my orange color, as you saw that I'm adding the decoration and color as app colors dot primary. That's why I'm adding this, uh, I'm giving this container, that is my second container, which is containing all the company logos as colors as white. So let me just do it again. Yes, so now it will give it, give the white color to my logos background, right? And again, padding and symmetric vertical 40 so that there should be some padding from the top, right? And as you know that the the default column is having cross axis alignment dot center. That's why all these logos will be at the center by default. So let me just save it. And you can see that it looks something like this. Then again, in the column, I'm calling all the four logos and all these four logos. Let me just go in this four logos company logo widget that we had uh, during the last part. And you uh, remember that I only gave the width to it. I did not give the height, but now I have given it some height because if it will not give height in the column, then it will not get, uh, it will not be visible, right? So in a column, you need to give it some height, right? Uh, so that's why I've given it some height. So rest, everything is same. Uh, I have not uh, changed anything. So this was a uh, part where I have coded the mobile version of the second container. And this was a very uh, short video because I thought that you would be doing this mobile part by your own, but I have given you the answer to it. So you can code it on your own. And so now your task remains is to code the iPad version. That is a tablet version of this container two and container one also, right? So yeah, thank you guys for watching this video. Next content, keep coding, keep innovating and thanks a lot.